Another uh, interesting characteristic, and perhaps one of the most important characteristics of the unit circle, is this. Let me erase this for a second here. And if I take a point, any point on the unit circle, and that would give me an x, comma, y, a in the Cartesian coordinate system, and I draw a ray from the origin to that point, it will form an angle with the x-axis being the initial side and this ray being the terminal side, and we'll call this theta. Okay, so this ray, this point, is associated with this angle theta. And now if I drop an altitude, and form a right triangle. And this side of the right triangle is actually the x component, isn't it? It's the x component, and this um, altitude is the y component of the of the ordered pair here from that point. Now, of course, we know this radius is one. It's a unit circle. So, if I take the cosine of theta, cosine, of course, is adjacent over hypotenuse is x over one, which equals x. The sine of theta is opposite over hypotenuse, or y over 1, which equals y. So the x component is the cosine of this angle, and the y component is the sine of this angle. The tangent of this angle of theta equals y over x. Now, it's often hard to find, you can use various uh, common um, triangles to find a few points on the unit circle, but some points are very easy to find. For instance, when the ray is, when the point is right here, then the um, and the terminal side lays right on top of the initial side, giving us a zero angle. And we know this point. This point is one and zero. And so the cosine of zero degrees is one, the sine of zero degrees is zero, and zero over one is zero, that's the tangent of zero degrees. So you have the cosine, sine, and tangent quite easy. Also, when it gets up to 90 degrees, we know this point here, and this point is a zero, the x value is zero, the y value is one, and so the cosine of 90 degrees is zero, the sine of 90 degrees is 1, and 1 over 0 is undefined, so we know the tangent is undefined. We come around here to 180, and this point here is negative 1 and 0. And so the cosine of 180 degrees, or pi, is negative 1, and the sine of 180 degrees is 0. The tangent, of course, is the y over the x, so that's uh, 0. So we have an order triple there. There's the tangent. Cosine, sine tangent of 180 degrees. We come all the way around to 270, and we know this point, and this point is an x value of 0 and a y value of negative 1, and so the cosine of 270 degrees, or 3 pi over 2, is 0. The sine of 270 degrees is negative 1, and of course negative 1 over 0 is undefined, so the tangent is undefined at 200. Uh, 70 degrees. So it, it finds these multiples of 90, doesn't it, quite easily. And that's very, very useful for us. Another interesting thing about this is this, that since it's the unit circle, the, whatever this angle is in radians, that's the distance on the arc, okay? We go this and we get a positive distance. And we say that if we start here and go this way, we get a negative distance. And we can go around and around and around and wherever the ray stops, we grab a, a, a reference angle. So we can talk about um, a trig function in the following manner. We can say we call this t, right? And we can say, well, this arc length is the domain for the cosine, and the domain for the sine, and the domain for the tangent, OK? And, and then the, we define the range of, say, the cosine is the x value. The domain is arc length, and the uh, range is the x value on, in the Cartesian coordinate system where the terminal side stops here. So we can talk about trig functions completely without regarding angles at all, just as a real value function. You put a real number in, which is a distance 
on this sort of circular axis, positive this way, negative this way, and then our range, what we get for the function is the x value and the cosine, the y value and the sine, and y over x in the tangent. 